Hey folks, welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive today, I can tell you that much. Out here in the sun, it's a little hot, but I'm out here nonetheless. What I'm out here today doing specifically is I'm trying to select some trees that I'm going to cut down to make some lumber. Now as many of you guys know and from some of my other videos I've mentioned it, I'm trying to bring this red pine plantation back to a mixed wood forest. Back to sort of a natural state so we can boost the diversity, get a few more species and critters roaming around and really make some uh, good bush for some hardwood trees to prosper. So behind me, this is one of my trees I'm going to take down and I'm not pointing at the maple, I'm pointing at the red pine that the maple is sort of wrapping around. This is one of the primary trees that I tend to take down when I'm out trying to select, uh, selectively harvest. I take down trees like this so that I open up the canopy for this nice hardwood to grow into. Now, in order for me to do this, I'm going to have to rig up this maple a little bit, pull it off to the side so that when the, when the red pine falls, it doesn't break the, break the maple off. Same thing holds true for over here. As you can see, underneath the red pine here, we've got a nice white pine that's coming up. White pine, uh, that's part of the mixed wood forest I'm going for, so I'm going to leave that. So the white pine is going to come up, and then I have some smaller trees coming up underneath, some smaller shrubs. And so I want to open this area up, and uh, by doing so, that will allow those trees to grow up and hopefully spread out from here in order to get my hardwood forest back one day. So that's the plan. I'm probably going to take down about three trees here. I'm going to buck them up into about nine foot lengths, end up with eight foot lumber, and uh, that's what we'll get up to. So today, chainsaw on, tomorrow, maybe the next day, or maybe the next day, we'll have that lumber made up over on the sawmill. So thanks for being here, and let's go.
Bugs are pretty fierce out here today. Oh well. <laughs> Well, that's sort of the reality here. I don't know, uh, I don't know how many people uh, are off uh, from time to time, but I am. Anyways, I was off by about a foot, and unfortunately, I wanted to go to the left side of that one tree, but I went to the right, and as a result, it got hung up. So, a little bit more work for me. As you could tell there, I had my ATV hooked up. I'm quite a distance back, so I'm actually uh, quite, a bit of, quite a bit further than the height of the tree, so the tree can't hit me. Plus, uh, back there, I ended up using a little pulley. But... Um, the reason I have this set up is because the tree started to lean backwards on me and because it's such a small diameter tree I didn't have a lot of a lot of diameter there to get a get a wedge in so I figured I would just help it over anyways that's a bit unfortunate but we'll get her down nonetheless here we go well good news this thing came down on its own I was repositioning my equipment including the ATB and while I was doing that I could hear things cracking up in the top and sure enough the uh, little branch that was holding this thing up fell so on the ground, going to finish cutting up all the limbs and uh, then we'll cut it to length, nine foot, and uh, go from there. Okay, let's measure it, and as I said, nine foot. Try to keep moving these. Holy horse flies are, I guess they're deer flies are vicious right now. They're enjoying the nice weather too. And a nice sweaty meal. And if I had one of those, uh, I had one of those loggers tapes. I think that's what you call it, those retractable units that make life easier, but as I do, do with what I have. Where are we at here? Okay. And we'll call it good there. So nine foot, as I said, you end up with about six inches on either end for squaring up the cut on the uh on the chop saw when you're making your lumber and leaves you with an eight foot piece of lumber so a few more cuts we'll call it good for today <laughs> Huh. 
All right. Well, guys, that's that. Nice uh, exercise routine out here. Got some fresh air and getting out of the house is kind of a nice excuse to get out here and cut some wood. So anyways, I think that's going to do it for me here today. As you can tell, I got a bunch of logs here that I'm going to pick up with my tractor. Whew, probably come by in the next little while, get that over to the mill. And uh, then I can go over to the mill and start making some lumber. That's what it's all about. Getting out, enjoying yourself, making some dust. Guys, thanks for watching. Come on back next time and take care of yourself. See you then. Thank you.